Hello, today's video format is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I mean, there's going to be some, you know, pita bread-ish moments, but I want to try something a little bit different. So today's video, I thought I would make a little guide. I don't know if it's really guide. A beginner introduction to Blockberg, even though most of you already know how to play this game. But for the new people that may potentially buy the game, or I don't know if this game will ever become free, um, this is a good introduction to Blockberg. Blocksburg. Gosh, it sounds weird when I say that. So um, expect like a narrator pita, like a uh, more professional pita. <laughs> Like a professional PETA. So welcome. If you are just beginning Blockberg and you've only been watching videos of it, you know, people watch videos of it, but they don't play it themselves. I don't know. And maybe it could inspire you to play it a bit more or do something. Today's color code is brought to you by the comments. From Andrea, Andrea Clarkson. No color code today. Yeah, I forgot to do color code yesterday. They said 67, 237, and 182. Tealish color. It's like a mint green, actually. I don't know, but that is a really interesting color. Oh my gosh, thank you. Forgot color code of the day yesterday, unfortunately, but there we go. We have it today. Okay, moving on to the video. <laughs> So Welcome to Bloxburg is currently a game on the Roblox platform for a good 25 Robux. Who knows if this game will ever become free to the public. Most likely, chances are it won't be. I could be very wrong about it. 25 Robux to end the game. If you convert that to real life money, like USD money, um, it is like 25 cents, perhaps. I think it might be 25 cents or even less than that. I don't know the conversion of it, but it is very, very cheap. Some people's uh, views on a 25 cent could be like, it could be expensive for 25 cents, but I don't know. I feel like a quarter is kind of cheap. Not to mention, some shirts and pants cost 5 Robux, sometimes even like 10 Robux each, so a total outfit could go anywhere from 10 to 30 Robux or even more, honestly. But to buy a game for 25 Robux, that's pretty good. But yeah, Welcome to Bloxburg is basically a town roleplay sandbox um, life simulation game where you basically have your own set of goals, if you really wish. But the game's general goals is to earn money, you know, work for your money or buy money if you wish. Build a very luxurious and nice house for everyone to see. And there's so many things you can do with that house. You know, you could role play in it, play in it yourself, or you can even just play the game regularly and, you know, for it to fill up your moods. One of the reasons you want to build a house is to be able to take care of yourself because in the game, there are moods. So when you do begin this game, you'll be gifted this happy home of Robloxia, which will be free for new players that are just starting out the game. If you have already gotten this house, it will be $7,500. Or you can also choose any other type of starter house given to you um, for a price. In my honest opinion, none of these are really worth it. I would say maybe the small suburban's okay. Stick with your free plots or your happy home of Robloxia because a lot of the other starter houses have been quite outdated for a while. It is not worth it. That's all I will say. Start with the starter house and then resell it if you would like to build a brand new one. But the real question is, what can you do in Blockburg? So as I mentioned before, your goals are what you make it. You can kind of see what you want to do. You can max out your job. You can level up a career in this game. And the max level currently is level 50. As the time of recording this, it is level 50. But yeah, you can work your way up the career path and earn a lot of money to build a house. Or you can even level up your skills as well. Each of these providing their own benefits. Of course, when you level up your job you get more money as you go when you do reach the max level you do get a nice little plaque reward that will uh, congratulate you on achieving such a great milestone and if you do max out a skill in this game, you do get a nice trophy that is in the shape of these icons right here. They do look like these, these athletic trophies, cooking trophy and such, all of the trophies. And there are login visit streaks as well. Yeah, just fun little rewards, things to collect in the game. You could be a collector if you'd like, because a lot of us are collectors. Yeah, you, you go to your inventory, there are a lot of things you can collect in this game. Some of the skills do provide benefits while others are kind of, you know, useless, but it's nice to look at them being max level. Cooking for starters will allow you to make up to more advanced meals slash recipes for sure cooking is something you should max up right away another thing is music music will give you more type of options to play but although it's kind of random now they changed it to where it is randomized on what you play um, and gardening is also another skill that gives you a benefit, such as more plants to put down, more types of plants to get, decoration slash furniture you can unlock through gardening, which is kind of the newer thing with this skill. Other than that, the other skills are not really too beneficial. They don't really do anything quite yet. As well in this game, you also find moods in this game. There are four current moods, fun, hunger, energy, and hygiene. Hygiene and energy being the most impactful so far. Energy, when you're low in energy, you're walking slower and your character will look a lot more depressed. And then hygiene, You'll just kind of gather a stink trail, kind of like a stinky smoke. And if it gets really low, then that's when your character starts swatting flies. It is very disgusting. People tend to neglect their hygiene. 
as seen in this game. I'm talking to a lot of you. A lot of you who play this, your hygiene, terrible. And of course, people's main goals when they play this game is to, of course, build a very nice house that they would love to live in. Ranging from really big castles, they can, you can truly build anything you want in this game, as long as you have the money for it, such as castles or even Victorian homes. There's many, many styles to explore yourself in the game that you could create. Modern tends to be a very popular style that everyone wants to go to, or even a traditional type of, even family houses are very, very popular these days for people to role play in with their families, their friends. Or you could be a very detailed builder and sort of just uh, go crazy and all out with your builds and challenge yourself because building, there is no limit when it comes to building at all. People have their own styles and preferences when it comes to building. Some love really big and luxurious homes while others may actually prefer to live in smaller, more organized tiny houses as well. People kind of live the life that they want. Everyone has their own styles and preferences. There is no wrong way of playing this game. So do what you like, do what you love, build what you want. But yes, another popular thing that people tend to love about Block Break is the roleplay aspect. There are many, many things that help players with their roleplaying, such as items, little details, little features in this game that do give those roleplay benefits. And I believe roleplaying is one of the more popular things about these town life simulation games, for sure. Another thing in this game that people may do is explore the town. Currently, the town is, I would say, 90% landscaping and 90% trees. It has been a while since this game has received a major town revamp slash updates. Um, a lot of players are looking forward to when Blockburg does update their map in the future. But currently, you do have this small town to explore, a couple restaurants, a couple of job oriented areas, and a nice little beach. But other than that, this world is indeed 90% trees, 90% grass slash trees, landscaping. There is not a whole lot. And currently in the game, there are two neighborhoods that you can choose to live in if you do have a game pass that allows you to choose. Currently, there is Bloxy Acre. And then on the other side of the neighborhood, you do have Riverside Estates. These are the official names of each of the sides of the neighborhoods. But most commonly, people refer to these sides as Pizza Side or Riverside slash Burger Side. So if you do need to know where someone is and they say these terms, you will know now where they are currently living. Pizza Side, Burger, Riverside. But the official names are, you know, the signs right here. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing to welcome to Bloxburg are the little features in this game. You do have, when you do start this game, you do have a nice little UI menu when it comes to either mobile or computer slash consoles. You do have this nice UI that will tell you everything you need to know. Currently, there is mood, work, skills within this player looking tab. Within the house tab, you have all of the things necessary for your own home, for your own permissions. Through this player tab, you'll have a description of your house and its house value. Have your permissions and families tab. This will allow you to manage people's current permissions on your plot. So none is very self-explanatory. If you do not like how a player is acting or you do not like them exploring your lot, the blocked button is a very most used, it is a very frequent button that people tend to use when people trespass their plot. There will be this big, clear, uh, darker see-through box that you will see if someone has either blocked you or they are currently working on their house. If you see nobody there at their mailbox, when this box shows up, that means you have been blocked. You are definitely banned from their plot. So you're you're experiencing like harassment or anything of that sort. You know, if you don't like how a player is acting, then you are definitely safe to stay in your house with this feature on. Um, there are also other features as well, such as guests. Guests will only be able to sit down on certain like furniture objects. They'll be able to pick up certain foods, even open up certain doors as well. Like they're literally a guest. Mates will have a bit more options as well. They'll be able to actually leave. They'll be able to access the locked doors and such. Some are able to build if you have a certain feature on that will allow roommate building. And co-owner is pretty self-explanatory. People can build and do things on your plot. They have basically like a full control of your plot as well. So co-owner is definitely for people who you absolutely trust, you know of um, to, be able to manage your house. So be very, very careful when you give people certain commands. This throw party button allows players to be able to get an invite to your plot. So if you press yes, players will then get a little pop-up screen asking them if they would like to visit your plots. It will automatically give everybody in your current server guest permission as well. So be very careful if you are trying to invite somebody and uh, they get guest permissions and you kind of, you know, you get some visitors you don't want as well. So be careful. The easiest way to invite somebody over without inviting everybody over is to go into the build mode and purchasing a telephone and using the telephone to invite individual players. Another thing through the UI is build mode. Build mode is one of the main features of this game. Um, but yeah, build mode has everything you need 
whether it comes to just building walls, you know, a nice little box, and then going into a roof, and putting on automatic roofs and such. There are many types of roofs and doors and all sorts of furniture, windows and such decorations to choose from to build your own house. Do whatever you want. Choose whatever you feel looks the best for your house. The more houses you build, the more houses uh, you decorate, the better you will get at building. The so Welcome to Blossberg does update quite a bit. Usually right now it's been once a month or sometimes even once every two months. The updates do come out when they are ready and when they are like not buggy to ensure quality and such. There are some patterns to when these updates do come out. Um, they do come out mostly on the weekends from Fridays to Sundays, um, rarely Thursdays, sometimes Wednesdays, sometimes even Mondays. They kind of happen either at night or very, very early in the morning. Another thing to know when the update is actually happening is to go into Coaptus's inventory and look through his decals. Yeah, you can go through Coaptus's inventory and look for any new decals you may see because you will know an update is coming when new fresh decals are uploaded in bulk. And in conclusion, Welcome to Bloxburg is a game where there there is really no limits. There are no set objectives. You can kind of play it however you want. You can't necessarily be bad at this game and it's not really that difficult of a game to play because it's really just a life simulation game. That's my little how to play Blockberg. Uh, I hope some of these things helped you. I mean there are probably some other things I may have skipped over but that's kind of like the regular, that's kind of like the general Bloxburg type of things. Literally you can't really play this game wrong. <laughs> you really can't. Yeah, this is just a guide for people to come back to and see how to play and such. If you guys would like to see more guides though on how like how to, how to get better at building or whatever, I'm not exactly the person for that, but I can try my best to explain things. So if you like to see more like helpful tutorials and such, because I would love to make guides. Basically it for this video, guys. If you uh, enjoyed it, you found it any, if you found it helpful in any way, uh, I'm sure most of you already know how to play this. If you watch my videos, you already kind of have the idea. If it was helpful for any new people, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Uh, and make sure to hit the subscribe button too because it is completely free. Thank you all for taking the time already to watch this and I will talk to you all in the next video. Have a great day. Peter Brad signing out. Goodbye, everybody.